All right, we're back at it again. Um, she's about ready to go. But I got a little electrical gremlin I got to try to figure out. What we've got is... I haven't driven this thing at night really in a long, long time, so I haven't really needed the lights. Currently, brake lights, turn signals, headlights all work as they should. But I noticed um, that the parking lights weren't working the last time I had it screwing around with it. And I figured maybe it was because the uh, I had disconnected the um, license plate light and dicked around with that, dinked around with that. And so I put that back and I tried them and they still didn't work. And then when I was troubleshooting the fuses, trying to figure out which one I had popped when I screwed up with the uh, new line lock, I noticed that the parking light fuse was also blown. So I put a new fuse in it, and as soon as I turned them on, it popped immediately. So I have something shorted to ground in the parking lights. And I don't really know where, but... What I did notice is that when the parking lights are on, even when the fuse is blown, that the right front parking light is on, even though the fuse is blown. That shouldn't be. So I don't quite understand that. So I think I'm going to start today trying to troubleshoot what's going on in the parking, the marker lights. I mean, conveniently, there's only four of them. Um, and... This here, I got this stinger in the glass, the, like the week I bought it, driving it around, picked up a rock. I've got a replacement lens, so I may do that while I'm in there. But that's what I'm going to be doing this morning, and uh, we'll take a few pictures here and there. I don't think it's going to be terribly interesting. Just to show you what the inside of these buckets look like and some of the other wiring it gets real difficult on a glass car like this because finding good grounds is tough and I have had issues with the brake lights and the turn signals just not being grounded well and I've had to move those around a lot uh, I'm tempted to run a new wire right to the ground on the uh, battery for the lighting system because of that uh, they they work good now but like I said the just the running lights don't don't know why well, they keep popping a fuse, so something's wrong. But we're going to try to uh, dig into that a little bit today and see if we can figure out what has shorted and go from there. So I've never taken these front lights off. I just noticed that this is old school flatheads. <laughs> so I'm going to try to pop that off without dropping it or scuffing up the paint any more than it needs to be and uh, then we'll see what we find inside okay like I said this is the first time I've taken this off so the trim ring kind of just pops up it's just clipped on around the top and it appears that there are a couple of little tiny screws up here that hold this clip in place and that glass is just set into these two little clips at the bottom, which are riveted in. And hopefully, you get a little tiny screwdriver, pop those off. Hopefully that is what allows me to get access inside to the bulbs. And probably won't find much in there, but I just want to do some continuity checks from the socket itself to see if there's a ground or something that's not right in there. So we're going to pop that off and uh, see what we find. We're probably going to end up having to go in underneath and follow the wires back to see what we've got. Okay, so I've checked continuity. I do have ground from the outside of the socket, um, and I do not have any grounds from either of the power sources. What I have noticed, though, is that the... socket itself isn't really too 
robust. may need to get in there and fiddle around with the back side of it. Um, not quite sure what I'm going to do there, but yeah, it doesn't, doesn't really hold the unit too well. I'm going to flip the lights on and just see what happens here. I haven't put a fuse back in it, but it should light up because, yep. Okay, yeah, see? So that one's actually working even though there's no fuse in the parking light right now. So that's kind of strange. I may have to pull that bucket. I may end up pulling all of the buckets and just cleaning all that, making sure the springs are working, seeing what we've got going on behind it. So I'm going to check to see what power, what side the power is coming from on that and then maybe put the turn signal on and see if the power is correct from the other side. Okay, so regardless, this side seems to work properly and the rears both work as far as the turn signals go. But this one doesn't work at all. I have no uh, parking lights. Well, probably because of that fuse. I still don't know how the hell that's getting power, to be honest. But I do not have a turn signal over here either. Which, the turn signals do work in the back, because that's the other high beam filament. That's not the parking light filament. So, we're going to have to take this one apart now, which I needed to do anyway because of the broken glass. And see what we find. Alright, so this was another case of... The socket is very, very loose. The bulb was just kind of flopping in there, and I just pushed it in. And now, at least that's working. But it's not great. But we are getting turn signals, again, we just don't have marker lights on this side. Or ta! What in the world? Okay, we don't have marker lights in the rear now. <laughs> so those sockets up front. Are suboptimal. They're not very tight. So. That's interesting. Maybe I just do have a ground, ground problem in the rear. So we're going to have to pop these buckets out, I think. And go through that socket if we can. I'm not sure how that's even held in there. Okay, that's the aiming screw. So that's kind of neat. Um, but we're gonna have to pop that stuff out and see if we can snug up those sockets to hold that bulb a little, those bulbs a little bit better. Cause that one there had just rattled loose, which is why it wasn't working. I still don't understand how these are working when I swear to God that fuse is blown. So we're about to check that fuse. Maybe I didn't blow it that last time. Well, that fuse is popped, but apparently that fuse only handles the parking lights in the rear. So, there we go. Now we're gonna have to go back here, which is kind of where I figured I'd end up, and see if I can find where my short to ground is or what I've got going on back here. And I'm gonna start with that underneath there with the license plate light because that's the one I've screwed with. I think I'm going to disconnect that completely and isolate it and see if that helps. Okay, well, it's a strange little unit, but I do find that if I stick a 
probe in here and touch the bracket that I have continuity from the power line to here. I don't necessarily from the parking light pin in the center, but I don't think I should have direct continuity from a hotline, because this is the power feed from the parking lights, to effectively what gets bolted to the frame as a ground. I think that may be my issue, and I don't really understand it, but I think what I'm going to do for right now is just nip this off right there and see if that solves my problem, because I don't believe I should have continuity from a hot wire to a ground bracket. I'm not sure what's going on. Something may have gotten chafed, or or what, or the yeah, who knows. But that's what I'm going to try now. All right. Well, I have isolated my problem wire, which is that little guy there, which goes to the right rear parking light. So now I have parking lights and turn signals all three corners. And well, I have parking lights on all three on three corners except for the right, rear, and turn signals all the way around. That wire is a dead short to ground somewhere, and I've disconnected it from the light in the back, so I do not believe that that is where it is. Unfortunately, that wire comes up into here, and I didn't do too much back here, but... There is certainly a possibility that I nipped it when I was doing all my work back here. So I am going to have to, at a minimum, pull this panel out, which is the side panels and everything else. Wonderful. So I can find that wire and see if I can see my problem. Because it's just dead short. There's not even... Nothing, something is amiss, and it's not the tail lights, it's not the fuse box, not the switch, it is this line, and I just gotta find it and see what I did. Okay, I think I found it. Uh, while I was trying to attach the boards a little better, I believe I had driven a screw right into that little wire bundle. I can see some chewed up stuff in there, and that is apparently where the wires for <laughs> the uh, lights go through. So somehow I have gacked that up. I'm going to be trimming this board a little bit back so I can get it out of there, and I'll bet that fixes my problem. <laughs> of course. Yeah, well, that's not what you want. But I bet that fixes my problem. Uh, and this is also making me make a note that I need to bring some carpentry tools with me. <laughs> I'm going on long drives. Because sometimes you got to move some plywood out of the way. All right, well, we're going to probably reconnect this one here. Because that's a long wire anyway. Not sure what it does. Not sure what that one does, but that one looks like I can put a butt splice in it. And we'll have to bust this tubing apart and get to the one that's screwing me up for the lights. But, uh, yeah, there it is. It was me, of course. So, yeah, well, what you gonna do? Now we know where the wires run. <laughs> All right, well, we got marker lights again. It's amazing what not driving a screw through your wiring harness will do to keep your car running happy. <laughs> anyway, all right, so that mess is all hooked up. I also found another fuse that I'm not sure exactly what it does, but was also blown because of that little escapade. So, now that that's tied up, we're going to tie wrap that back together, probably put a little combing over it, and uh, tuck her away, and then re-carpentry this thing and get the back end of the car back together. Woohoo! Alright, carpentry is complete. Lights work. I gotta get some more rubber molding for the trunk and the doors and stuff because it's starting to break down. But again, 20 years, 22 years. And so, 
and clean up my wire down there just tie it up and get it out of the way for now because that obviously will work that was not my problem just happened to be on the same circuit and uh, clean that up zip tie that in place and maybe we're ready to go put a little gas in the tank and uh, take it for a quick jaunt we will see nope I forgot I still gotta work the front headlights because <laughs> I do want to see if I can get those uh, turn signal marker bulbs to be a little less crummy when they're in there I'm not quite sure how we're gonna do that but uh, maybe just a little lube as I think they're just kind of spring-loaded and they might be a little rusty after the years but we will see all right we're out checking her out so far so good fuel gauge looks a little bit more reasonable I don't know how linear it is down to the bottom but that's a lot better than it was the thing doesn't shift for a while so it's not really great around town Take care.